Good morning, everyone. And probably some of you are from other countries. So good evening or any other greetings, I should say. But welcome to Han uh, Hanabi Realm, uh, today's uh, special webinar that um, Hyper Japan organized for everybody who is interested in Japanese fireworks. Thank you very much for joining today. My name is Akari Mochizuki. I am today's MC and also interpreter for this seminar. Okay, so I am sure, well, I can see lots of you greeting on the chat, but I would like you to enjoy the most of the webinar today and a little bit of the instruc instructions that I would like to give you so that you can enjoy it uh, you know, fully for this uh, event. And firstly, for this webinar and um, recording and screenshots are uh, strictly prohibited. Please do not record any of the materials within the webinar, please. Because this movie we are going to reveal today is very special one. So exclusive and a special one for you. So please do not record it and enjoy the most of it with your eyes. <laughs> Okay, and secondly, uh, you, we will send you the YouTube link and via chat. So if you could make sure you can see the chat and enjoy the 360 degree movie, please. And please use VR mode on the YouTube app or on the YouTube browser. You can watch this video and please um, make sure to watch it properly. And if any problem happens, we will have this webinar site open all the time. Any problem, technical error, uh, or anything that you would like to ask, you can come back and ask on chat. And please come back here. Okay. And finally, uh, when, when you finished watching the uh, special movie, please come back to the webinar so that you can share your uh, ideas and feedback to the producers of this uh, event and that's the most important thing for us so please make sure to come back to the webinar after watching the YouTube okay and uh, your opinions and feedback really matters to us so now everybody can you see us <laughs> you can see two attendees two special guests for today I would like to welcome those guest speakers. So firstly, Mr. Sei Iwano, the director of Nihonbashi Marutamaya, the planner and also the director of Hanabi Room on the show today. And also uh, Ms. Sayaka Shimada, the firework art director at Nihonbashi Marutamaya. And she is the director of Hanabi Room. So please welcome them. Put your hands together. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, Iwano-san and Shimada-san, please uh, introduce At first, I'd like to introduce by myself. Um, hi, I'm Sayaka Shimada, uh, one of the directors of Hanabi Room and working at the fireworks company here, Nihon Bashimaru Tamayo, as pyrotechnician. Um, I'm very happy that many people have interested in our program, Hanabi Ryu. Uh, thank you very much. And today, Sei and I is participating in this event today. But our Hanabi Ryu team has four members. Rei Shimano, who is director and sound producer, is unfortunately absent today because she is also a pyrotechnician and now she's doing fireworks. And Nae Morita, who is producer, is I think participate in this event as audience today, <laughs> maybe watching this from her home. Hi. <laughs> and Sei Iwana, uh, who is director and planner, is here and me. Uh, but not only these members, but also many talented people helped us and made it with us. And today, Sei and I will do a presentation after this program, Hanabidium. And I will explain about behind the scene of Hanabi Room, um, particularly about technology. 
And after that, I will speak about the Japanese firework history as well. And after my presentation, and say we'll explain about the history and the character of Hanabiru and why fireworks is important culture for us with his private story. And please come back here after watching the program. And it is first time to show our pro Hanabi room overseas, right? Yeah, <laughs> we are getting nervous, but we hope you will enjoy and like it. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Sayaka-san, for the greeting. And now I would like to ask uh, Sei-san, Iwano-san, for uh, his word. Hi, Hi I'm Sei Iwano. Ohayou gozaimasu. I'm working for a company called Nihonbashi Marutamaya, and I'm in charge of fireworks. My job is to plan and direct the fireworks display, and I also prepare them to be set off during the show. What's important to me is to safely shoot off the fireworks, but also to present fireworks like you've never seen them before. In order to deliver, a new experience with fireworks for you. I have to produce new ideas. I'd like to show you Hanabilium now, and this work is a culmination of my new ideas into one. I'm very pleased that so many people have come to see the Hanabilium today. Actually, I live it I lived in London from the age of two to four. I was fluent in English back then, but I forgot most of it now. <laughs> but I still have some fond memories of England. I still love England. I'm very grateful for this opportunity to be here in the UK. Thank you to everyone involved. I hope you have a Great day. Thank you very much, Iwano-san, for a nice uh, speech at the beginning. So he has lived in London. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and yes, so uh, before we start watching, there are several tips that I would like to give you. Firstly, please make your room as dark as possible, because as you can imagine, fireworks look the best when it's dark in the sky. So please pretend that this is a Japanese sky <laughs> in the background and please make your room as dark as possible. And also uh, just lie down yeah, and chill on the sofa or bed or on the floor even. And put your smartphone just above your head and then imagine you are lying down on the riverside of a Japanese local town or city. And uh, for laptop users, though, do not hold it, yeah, <laughs> because it can cause a little bit of problem. So make sure you just use it as it is supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, if you could be ready for that, that'd be amazing. And we are going to share the link now on the chat. Yes, as I explained, relax yourself and enjoy the real mode. And this is the link that's on the chat. Is anyone receiving it? Okay. So, we will see you in the next few minutes. See you then. Please come back. Hello, everybody. Well, I'm sure you enjoyed it. But now Iwano-san and also Shimada-san are going to explain the background of this film. I believe I can see lots of uh, positive feedback from you guys. Thank you very much. Keep writing if you have anything that you would like to tell them. But I'm going to ask, uh, you know, them to, um, uh, you know, explain it later with a Q&A session. But if you could watch the um, several videos for you to 
know about this film, Hanabi Realm, so please watch this one first. Soon, I will show how we made the Hanabi Realm, but first, please watch this video about making our normal fireworks displays. In Japan, fireworks are part of every summer. There are 1,500 different displays over Japan. And each year, about 79 million people watch them. It's something for everyone. Fireworks display are fun. But fireworks mean more than that. They are an important part of our traditional culture. That's why we made our video display. The result is Hanabilium. Let's have a little look at how it was made. One amazing thing about Hanabilium is how you see fireworks from right below. 
the law is that spectators must stay a safe distance away from fireworks, and it depends on the size of the fireworks. For a 12 centimeter shell, watchers have to be at least 150 meters away in every direction. For a 30 centimeter shell, the distance is 219 meters. Only fireworks pros get to see them from below. So, the Hanabi Room view is very special. And we didn't only shoot video from right below. The fireworks were designed to be filmed in 316 degrees. There is no CZ. The fireworks were set up as two huge rings, one inside the other. We use a special computer to synchronize the fireworks and music. We can even control the launch time to 0.03 seconds. This is the software we use. We can control which fireworks launches when and design the display. This is a special rack we made ourselves for the fireworks. It can change angle. With this, We can precisely angle how the fireworks are launched and create a 360 degree show. This is the same camera we use. For the planetarium, we need a very high definition camera. We also worked hard on the sound. With the help of the company called Yamaha, we use 3D immersive sound technology. This is how we made the Hana Bloom video from the right underneath the fireworks. Please have another look. The video was from right below, but the photo on the right showed the view from the side. But there is more to Japanese fireworks than a video experience like this. A professor at Dharma's College in the US wrote a book called Giving Up the Gun Japan's Liberation to the Sword. In it, he said that. Japan became better at using guns than any Western European country. Yet, Japan gave up guns. Something never happens in the history of weapons. This Japanese miracle is a lesson for us. 400 years ago, Japanese people threw away guns. Then, using the gunpowder created a traditional fireworks. People say that first shogun Tokugawa Ieyasu was the first person to see fireworks in Japan. That was in 1613. Those fireworks probably look like this. More than 100 years later, many people in Japan died from famine and plague. In 1733, fireworks were set off in the morning. So, fireworks display in Japan began as a way to remember people who have died, and that display still happened each year at the Sumidagawa Fireworks Festival. Fireworks spread around Japan and became a summer tradition. It was only during the Second World War, from 1838, that fireworks display stopped. People were afraid of bombs falling from the sky and didn't want to see fireworks. There were no fireworks display in wartime. But in 1948, after the war had finished, fireworks returned. Here is a photo of people at the Sumidagawa festival when it restarted. 
they had all been waiting to see fireworks again. This display was actually put on by a former president of our company. His name was Kyosuke Ogatsu, and this is what he said about it Fireworks can only launch in the sky of peace. Fireworks are a symbol of peace. This is the important story of fireworks. Sadly, many different events were cancelled this year and last year due to the coronavirus. Many fireworks displays were also cancelled. But as I have told, Japanese fireworks started as a way to remember people who died from disease. And they are a prayer for peace. That's why last year fireworks professionals over Japan volunteered to put on informal displays. They were a prayer for recover from disease and a way to keep everyone's spirits up. Thank you very much. That was the video behind the scenes and also the history of the Hanabi, the fireworks. Now let's watch the presentation from Mr. Iwano now. Uh, he will talk about from where this creation was made and also importance of fireworks for Japanese culture. So please uh, keep watching. A wish for children and society. The Hanabi room was created for primary school children. There is an important human story in the history and culture of fireworks. But if we try to express them in a difficult way, it won't be understood. That's why we wanted to use lovely characters to express this story. We wanted to make it easy for everyone to know about the importance of fireworks when they are absorbed in the story. The main character is Buck. He goes to a fireworks school, but he is not actually blind. He always says, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm not sure I can do it. All my classmates are so bright and shiny and I don't think I can do it. One day, a mysterious old man, who is called Grandpa Smoke, told Spark all about fireworks. Spark also meets a boy called Blaze, who is a bit older when Spark time travels. Spark grows through his relationship with Grandpa Smoke and Blaze. Do you know anyone who always says I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, around you? I think there are three important things that the story of Japanese fireworks can teach us. First one is the fireworks, are a symbol of peace as Ms. Shimada told me earlier. Secondly, the key is in the color and shape of the fireworks. If you shoot off the same color and the same shape of fireworks, people will get bored. A variety of colors and shapes is what makes fireworks attractive in the night sky. It is this diversity and freedom of expression with fireworks that moves us and allows us to connect. In other words, fireworks can tell us that each individual is important. Isn't it the same for fireworks and people? People come in all colors and shapes. We are good at different things. We are bad at different things. And our minds are different. There is no need to be a certain color or shape. There is no need to deny our own individuality or that of others. I want the world to affirm our own individuality and that of others. 
This wish was inspired by the fact that my son has a developmental disability. He couldn't appreciate his own individuality. He was always talking like Spock before he grew up. Maybe it was my fault as a father or the world he grew up in that made him so. I wanted to send a reminder to myself and to our society to protect the individuality of children. It's okay to be different. You don't have to compare yourselves. You can live your life the way you want to. I hope everyone recognizes my message. Thirdly, I can think of our loved ones through fireworks. Fireworks have the power of attraction, bring people together. Fireworks allow families together, friends to laugh, lovers to get together. It is not just about thinking of about the loved one around you. In Japan, fireworks have their origins of the remembrance of the deceased. You watch the fireworks be set off into the sky and then fade out. This helps us remember and pray for those in heaven. I believe that fireworks have a magic that attracts both the living and the deceased. To tell the truth, I found fireworks just after I lost my best friend in his accident. He was like a brother to me. The fireworks at the time were like his life itself that he had just finished living. I was sad and lonely, but when I saw the fireworks, I felt that I had touched the soul of my best friend and I was saved. That's why I got into this field of fireworks. I believe the fireworks I set off with my own hands may be able to give one someone their strength to live just as they once saved me. That's what I believe and that's why I set off fireworks. Creating the traditions of the future. By the way, do you think the traditions should be kept? Or can we not change those traditions? For a long time, I couldn't answer this question. But recently, I have found out. Fireworks in Japan have a history of 400 years. Our ancestors have risked their lives to establish this culture. I believe that I have a role to play in passing on the tradition and culture of fireworks for the future years. We hope that future children, families and lovers will be waiting and enjoying the fireworks for another thousand years. How can we make it happen? Fireworks must continue to be loved. There are many forms of entertainment, such as illuminations, projection mapping, drones, but fireworks must not be overshadowed by them. If drones are more attractive than fireworks, it is obvious the number of people watching the fireworks will decrease. What happens if fewer and fewer people see it? Well, fireworks may disappear. That's why fireworks must remain interesting and beautiful to us. This is the point. This is where I found the answer. Tradition cannot be preserved only for a sense protection. Tradition can only be kept if we are developing and creating new ones. Tradition must change in order to remain cutting-edge and attractive through the ages. 
That's why we will continue to inspire new ideas and create new traditions for the future of fireworks. What's coming up? This is a story that fireworks creators have risked their lives to tell. I believe this culture is worth passing on. A world with fireworks, it is a world of peace. I will continue to create works so that people can enjoy these fireworks for many years to come. There is something I would like to say to children once again. It is important to value your own personality. It is important to value the individuality of others. And don't assume that everything is impossible. If you try, you will have a sparkling future. A moment for each person to think about their loved one who goes while looking at a single firework. I hope that the scene of enjoying fireworks will continue forever. Thank you very much for your support today. That was amazing videos to know about Hanabi Ryum and also the background history and why Japanese people take care of Hanabi culture for a long time. I didn't know that the Yes Tokugawa was the first one who watched the Hanabi <laughs> in the history. Amazing story. So now I'm going to ask everybody who watched the Hanabi Ryum and also this session to have some questionnaires to be answered. So would you uh, try to click the link that will come up uh, on your screen and then please feel free also to write your comments on the chat screen so that we can share all the feedback from everybody who watched today's webinar uh, with the people who created Hanabi Room, obviously Shimada-san uh, and um, also the um, Iwano-san are here to see the comments and the reactions from you guys but any other people who are involved would like to know about it so how you felt and how you um, thought about this um, project and also the Hanabi Realm as the artwork uh, please feel free to write in the chat we will download it and share it with them and also uh, you know the uh, social networking uh, site that they have is the Facebook page uh, you we are going to share it in the chat in a minute but please follow them for the latest news uh, of the um, uh, Maru Tamaya from uh, Nihonbashi Maru Tamaya uh, about the news, what they're doing, you know, so far, and also for the future events. You can keep your eyes on your uh, on their activities. Amazing. Have you been able to fill in the form? Everything is okay. I'm sure. Yes, please write your comments and questions and it will be answered uh, when we have all the questionnaires uh, sent to them. They will have a chance to look at it and they can answer to your questions uh, individually. And we are going to share this for sure with the people who are involved with this project. And amazing. Everybody can fill in the form and tell us what you thought about work. Thank you so much. Yeah, there are lots of uh, positive feedback coming up from the audience. Iwano-san, so then Shimada-san, how was it? Today, in this time, there are positive feedback from the audience. Mm. 
they have been really nervous about this uh, opportunity because um, uh, they, they didn't know how people react to it, but they, they, they felt that uh, it was worth it. And it was amazing to have everybody's positive feedback on the chat. Amazing. Thank you so much. I believe this webinar has given you a lots of uh, great information uh, on the OK, じゃあ一つちょっとこう質問があるようですね。お伺いします。あの、こう型を取るようなそのハートがたとかそういったものがこう作られる時のそのデザインにかかる時間ですとかそのを実際にこう作り上げていくま年月ってたら変ですけども
今日は岩野さん、島田さん、本当にお忙しい中、あのこのような機会をいただきましてありがとうございました。Thank you so much for、uh, uh, Mr. Iwano and、uh, Miss Shimada for joining us today. Please give them final applause. <笑> Thank you very much. <笑>ありがとうございます。Thank you very much. So everybody, have a lovely summer season and enjoy another. Hanabi room, <laughs> and、uh, see you all again、uh, for Hyper Japan seminars and the website events. Hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.